Liberians have been complaining about the poor services being provided by the country's major communication companies, resulting in economic constraints for some businesses prior to last week's outages in the sub-region. Denise Nipson reports from Monrovia. Liberians across the country are concerned about its two major global mobs. They say they are providing poor services, which some businesses claim are creating low revenue generation. Among the complaints are slow network connectivity and lack of coverage in some areas. Gibson Sanner is a vendor who sells recharge cards from both companies. He says the situation is affecting his business and I join complaints from his customers. So then the customer will kind of have arguments on my name with beef. They will torment me now. I know that this is the situation that going on and I seen in their money. I said, no, I don't know. So sometimes it gave me hard time in having my business. So my customer will get in confusion. Another citizen, Augustus Yapa, says he missed out on the contract due to field costs and poor connectivity. Orange, when you put your three day money there, the three day will not finish and will take your money. I experienced it twice with that uh, Lunsa. Whenever you, you subscribe Lunsa to even if that number to call somebody, it will say loan for you can hear anybody calling. So now when you call when the phone is on, somebody calls you say the phone is off. So it really affecting us in this place here. The cost problem for me. It made me to miss call plenty of time. That's on business and you can't attend it. It made, it made me to lose some money all the other time. Miata Davis, a fashion designer who deals mainly online says she is losing customers regularly. And in that way, I've been so very bad. We do really get through with call. If you call your friend, they would, they would tell you, say, network busy, network busy. I'm a fashion designer and my customers, because of the network, but anytime they call me, I don't receive their call. So I've been losing a lot of customers. The GSM companies did not respond to our repeated request for comment. Meanwhile, following the complaints, the Liberia House of Representatives invited both companies to appear before the Oversight Committee. Representative Ava Jones is the head of the House Committee on Post and Telecommunication. He says Lone Star Cell, MT and GSM and Orange Liberia have been instructed to restore services. In the committee recommendation as it relates to the complaint brought before it, uh, we recommended to the planner of the House of Representatives that there be restitution uh, done, especially to areas that were affected in terms of the poor quality of the service that led to the expiration of data packages, minis, or whatever form uh, that the customer has faced as a result of the, the network. Even though... There was a recent outage across West Africa due to damage overseas cables. Liberians are hoping for better services, especially those who rely on the networks for business. For VOA's Daybreak Africa, I'm Denise Nipsin in Morovia, Liberia. There was renewed fighting over the weekend between the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC military, and M23 rebels operating in the east of the country. The French news agency AFP reports that at least eight UN peacekeepers were wounded during an M23 attack on the town of Sake, about 12 miles west of the eastern city of Goma. Reporter Al Katanti Sabiti Jaffa in Goma spoke with me earlier about the latest resumption of hostilities. Since two days, fighting has been reported in the city of Sake after a week without any fighting. And this is because M23 tried to take the control of the downtown Sake and FRDC had to stop them to take the control of the entire city of Sake. During this fighting, rockets from M23 landed in a Monusco camp near Sake and wounded some peacekeepers. M23 rebels say they were responding to an attack by the Wazelando militia. Who are the Wazelando militia? What are they about? Every time when M23 attack an area, they say they are attacking Wazalendo. They are responding on some Wazalendo attacks. And Wazalendo are civilian people who decided to fight alongside FRDC to protect their land against the common enemy, which is M23. 
and sometimes M23 just accuse sometimes locals, civilians without weapon uh, to be Wazalendo. And when M23 qualifies someone as a Wazalendo, that means he became their enemy and they can shorten him. So when they accuse citizen as Wazalendo, that means they can open fire on them because they become automatically their enemy. Wazalendo, some of them are farmer, my my groups, fighters, and some of them are just civilian who decided to take weapon to help the Congolese army to fight against M23. And they are uh, an active actor in this fighting because since more than one year, these Wazalendo are protecting their zone, fighting against enemy. And in some places, they are the one who made a big resistance against M23, even more than FRDC. As we speak at this moment, how would you describe the situation? Is it calm or is it still continuing? Fighting still ongoing. Anyone who can be seen in sake is shot by M23 snipers. You know, M23 are controlling hills around sake and FRDC are in the city of Sake. So even civilian, anyone who can be in Sake, he will be targeted by M23, and M23 will say they are killing Wazalendo. So everybody in Sake is qualified by M23 as a Muzalendo or FRDC. Even this Sunday, some people were injured and killed in Sake by shots coming from the hill controlled by M23. At least 16 soldiers, including four officers, were killed in southern Nigeria while responding to a distress call during fighting between two communities, defense officials said Saraday. The attack in the all rich Rinvarini Delta State happened in the Bomadi Council area Thursday when the soldiers deployed to keep the peace were surrounded by some community youth and killed. Defense Headquarters spokesman Brigadier General Tukul Gusau said in a statement. The attack led to the death of the commanding officer, two majors, one captain and 12 soldiers. Gusaur said, adding that a few arrests had been made related to the attack, which is now being investigated by the military. Local media reported the conflict in Delta was related to a lingering land dispute between the Okamar and Okuloba communities, which resulted in the abduction of one man. The soldiers had unsuccessfully tried to, re -neg to negotiate his freedom. Though mostly deployed on special security operations across the West African country, Nigerian soldiers are sometimes sent to resolve conflict in communities, especially areas with an inadequate security presence or where deadly clashes are common. Thank you so much for watching and peace.